What's up, everyone? I know you guys seen my Brave Splite deck. That By now, you guys clapped everyone up with it. But for some people, maybe you guys can't afford the Brave Package. Maybe you don't like the Brave Package. Here is the best pure Brave... Sorry. The best pure Splite deck of all time. I'm going to show you guys how to play it, combos, and everything. So if you guys are ready for this video, I'm just going to go to TripGaming.com right now. Buy the beautiful Splite play match. They're going to be available for one more week. So go do so right now, baby. The best Splite match in the game. Get it while it lasts. It sold out the last time, so don't miss it. With that being said, let's get straight into this video. Pure Splite. Splite mat. Get yours now. I don't even have one because they're so exclusive. Let's go. So, first things first. You want to have the absolute maxed out engine of the best Splites. Mandatory, not debatable, not questionable. Prosperity, if you can't afford it, get a job. You need to get these 12. And you want to play as short of a deck, as small of a deck as possible to always open this any of these cards next thing you're gonna play now a lot of people are gonna look at this and think Triff, you're high and maybe off life so what we're gonna play is three deep sea diva and three nimble beaver i don't own two divas i'm getting them as we speak uh the reason why is they're all one card engines so you're playing 18 one card auto win buttons click the button you win the duel what's up guys i did to stop the video for a massive huge emergency the emergency is that you did not buy your spy play my yet what are you doing look at this thing I love you, I love playing you, and I love destroying you when I duel against you. So get your Splite Playmats right here, right now, while you guys can. The last one sold out, this is the whole brand new wave of it. And everyone who has already purchased their Splite Playmats, they are all shipped and ready to go. Beautiful. So get yours right now, down in the description below. Prices will go up in one week. So if you're planning to get this mat, get it right now. At some point next week, maybe after I win the Toronto Regional with it, the price will go up $10. So make sure to get yours now while you guys can still get it for the low price of $39.99. Literally the best artwork in the planet. I messed with my artist. I'm just like, dude, literally just make the best man in the history of mankind. He was like, say less. For the next 48 hours, for the next 48 hours, whoever purchases their Splite Playmat will receive a special feed pick from Shurf Gaming. Whoever purchases a Splite Playmat today, right now, will be able to to watch me eat, drink some water. <laughs> what are you doing? You haven't bought a playmat yet. Why are you watching me drink water? This is only for people that buy the playmat. So get your playmats now and let's get back into the video. Cheers and drink your water, people. I'm okay with opening multiple nimbles and multiple divas. Why? This not what did the right package have? Lots of extenders. This deck lacks extenders. Prosperity and starter are really the only extenders in the deck. So the reason why you want to play a lot of these is that they're all waters. Making it so swap frog becomes an extender. That's why you want to play as many possible of the normal summon package with the three diva and three nimble beaver. Because when you look at the waters in your deck now, you're making it so swap frog because of an extender. And going second, when you're when you have the ability to special summon a swap frog, you're clearing most boards. All of these, it's the beauty of prosperity. It becomes whatever you want. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 13. So when you open a Swap Frog, you have 12 waters left in your deck. So 12 waters out of the 5 cards you're going to open, you're playing through almost every single board in the game. So opening, having multiple Nimbles and Divas in your deck is totally fine. Especially because the rest of your deck is just hand traps. So you want to open as many possible of your starters as possible. And every Splite is an extender. You just need a level 2 on the field. So when you start off with Nimble or Diva and draw one of these... GG to your opponent. See you later. The last card you're going to play is one of each Splite. Just one Splite Red, one Splite Carrot. That's really all you need. I firmly believe you don't need more than that. Just be very wary going second. Uh, play around Dark Roller with Splite Starter. Sometimes you save your Starter to Special. Wait for them to have Dark Roller your ass. And then you Special Carrot or Red. That's why who cares about Dark Roller in this deck. So this is a 42 card deck with 18 hand traps. Okay? 42 cards with 18 hand traps. The best hand traps. As I mentioned in my last video. The reason why I think these are the best is because these 15 are very good for Splite into element with Nibiru just being the big blow a big uh, card to blow up their board and it, it's amazing for Splite because you're playing a 42 card deck you, they're not going to hit you with gigantic Splite you're going to save one of your hand traps let's say Nib Imperm, Nib Ash, Nib Warner, Nib, Nib Valor, even Nib Crow a combination of Nib plus any of these hand traps will obliterate any Splite player uh, especially when they think they're safe so they'll go Splite Red, they'll summon five monsters, they have one call left in their hand, and ha I got Splite Red, I'm safe from Nibiru. No, Nibiru Imperm, see you later, pal. 
So make sure to still play Nibiru in your deck because in conjunction with the other 18 hand traps is very powerful. Being able to put 18 hand traps on a 42 card deck, there's not many decks that could do that. This is probably one of the only ones. Next, the extra deck. Three Splite Elf. Two Gigantic Splite. Three Elf in this deck is very vital. You're playing pure. You don't have another engine. This is vital. So the idea of this deck is that you don't even go a balls to the wall. You respect every hand trap in the game. You look at your opponent and see, oh, do you pass the Veiler test? Pass the Ass test? Pass the Nibiru test? Pass all these tests. Focus on Splite Elf. Utilize its effect to protect your Gigantic Splite. Trigger its effect. GG. You're also going to be playing one Sky Cavalry, one Toad, one Down, and one Zeus. All of these come up as well in multiple ways. And the other extra deck cards you're going to be playing is one of each Nightmare. Makes it so clearing boards becomes very easy. And you're not, you're just, even when you get locked into Link 2s, you're fine. One Dark, because every single deck in the format has Darks. And one Axis Code uh, comes up a lot. And then one Mascarena and one Underworld Goddess. Proxy IP Mascarena. IP Mascarena is very vital in this deck because... When you're bored, it doesn't become that crazy. You're going to have bored of totally awesome. The typical board will be totally awesome. Splite Elf, IP Mascarena, and some combination of Red or Carrot. And then in combination with your 18 hand traps and 42 card deck, your opponent is cooked. Let them Dark Ruler you. You will triple hand trap their ass and still win the duel. Side deck now. You're already playing 18 hand traps on the main. So there's, no, there's only so much space you could play for hand traps. So you only play two against two against Splite, two against Terralimate, making it so you have 20 for the pure Splite version. And the card that you would side out going second is most likely a, a Nimble and a Diva. One Diva and one Nimble Beaver. Uh, so you're still fine. You still have 20 post side deck, 20 hand traps. And because you're having 20 hand traps in the main deck uh, with 42 cards in the deck, you have the space now for many uh, cards to stop them going first. That is five ways to D-Barrier. You also have uh, five ways to uh, Mischief of the Gnomes, which I still have yet to receive, which I'll be getting soon. So against all the top meta decks, you destroy them going first. And against trap decks, uh, with Prosperity searching them, you have eight ways to destroy them. And you have three evenly and one Splite Smashers, which is the card we side deck uh, for specifically uh, any Floodgate, anything like that. That's also why I prefer the Brave Package a little more. Giving you Draco back and this, there are searchable in-engine outs to Mystic Mind Floodgates is huge. And it doesn't require you to overside deck trap hate because all of this. But at the same time, you still have trap trick and evenly match and prosperity to search all this. So every single deck in the game is absolutely cooked. That is the best splite deck in history. So if you guys want to go check that out, go do that. Make sure to go get your splite playmats down in the description below. They're absolutely beautiful. Uh, get it ASAP. If you guys want to check out Brave Splite, I made a Brave Splite list. I believe this video will be out Saturday. And uh, the tomorrow is the Toronto Regional, which I've already won. Uh, with Brave Splite, I can only assume so because it's the best deck in the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next video.